Hey guys, this is Danny, and today I'll be going over 8 tips to help you guys win in survival games. Tip number 1 has to do with when you first charge into the chest at the middle. So there are two options when you go in there. You either go in there and you get really good stuff that you feel comfortable with, like a weapon and some armor, or you go in there and you don't get very much. However, you need to make sure you play things the right way. So the options are, if you get good stuff, you do have the opportunity to wait around the middle and try and get some kills, because often you can get some really good stuff from that. Uh, if, if you were to do that, I would recommend getting a sword and at least a piece of armor or two. Um, in my situation right here, I was able to get some good armor, so that means I could potentially wait around and try and kill some people and maybe get some more stuff. However, if you don't get stuff, you definitely want to get out of there, because if you get trapped in the middle with other players that have better stuff than you, it will end your game. So this is definitely the uh, a decision you will have to make at the time. So for me, I decide, uh, decided that it would be good for, or beneficial and be worth it for me to try and stick around and get a few extra kills here. And uh, as you can see, all, a lot of the players that do stick around usually don't have great stuff. So it is a, definitely a great opportunity to get a few kills. But make sure to be on the lookout and know when to leave because you have to be aware of the people that do have really good stuff. Tip number two has to do with knowing your surroundings. As you can see, there's clearly a player over there. So what I'd want to do is I'd want to open a chest facing the direction where I can see them. So I could see them like this. So that's the way I'd want to open the chest. For example, if I walked up and looked at the chest like this, they could sneak up behind me. Another strategy would be to look in a chest in uh, third person so then you can see if people come on your sides. It's just really important in this game to not get stuck up on and knowing you're sur uh, stuck up on, snuck up on, and uh, or get stuck in a certain place with a player that works too. But um, it really is important to know your surroundings, like to see those players fighting over there. Since they're fighting, um, that means they're going to be weak, and we definitely want to go in there and try and kill them when they aren't looking. So as you can see, we came in there when they weren't expecting, and we're able to get a kill. And now we just need to end off this other player right over here. And then we will be good to go. So yeah, very important to know your surroundings and be aware whenever you look in things or turn your back. The third tip has to do with these chests over here, the um, the white chest. There, if you um, if you are more if you are an experienced player, you probably will know about this. But if you aren't, the green chests are tier one chests, which means that they have lesser stuff. And the white chests are tier 2 chests, and sometimes they, uh, in some maps, they are really rare to find around the map, but in some maps, they are very common, and you can find the white tier 2 chests around the map, and those have a good chance to have, or not a good chance, but they have a better chance to have things such as diamond armor and stuff like that. So, usually people will go for them when they see them, but sometimes they're not seen, and you always want to check them when you walk by them in case they have some really good stuff. You really never know when a player will get to them or if a player will see them. These chests here will never have anything better than iron, um, but those chests do have the chance to have diamonds in them, and they really set you up. There are, there are situations where you don't have that great stuff, and then you find a, a white chest, and then you get really lucky with the stuff you get in there, and it really could drastically change the game for you. And yeah, let me just uh, kill this player here, and uh, yeah. And we'll be heading on to tip number four. The fourth tip has to deal with the water. Um, every map that has water, I'm pretty sure every map does have water in some sort. But every map that does, it is always dangerous to fight over there. Sometimes if you're on the attack, it could be an advantage to you, or it could hurt you. For example, I do have a player following me now. So if I were to find a place that has water, which I know for a fact it has it over there, so I'm going to go over there just to demonstrate. I am going to use the bow like the other tip. This actually may work out well in my advantage because I do have a bow and they... Um, do not realize they do, but once you get stuck in the water like this, they always, the, the uh, people on the attack have such a good advantage against you, because, as you can see, he got a few hits on me and he was able to bow me. Uh, if it was an actual game, I wouldn't have went to the water there, but since I did, I just got completely destroyed, I messed up a jump over here, and then, basically, when you're in here, you're trapped, because they'll always try and lock you in and make sure you're good. I did have the bow, so... Um, but they have one as well. And the fact that they used the bow is the reason they were able to clean me up there. Tip number six has to do with bows. Bows are actually so, so good in survival games, but so many people don't use them. Most people just want to go in there with the sword and try and get as many kills as they can like that. But bows really set you up to go in there with the sword. Uh, I don't have any people around me right now, but whenever you use a bow, 
um, especially in this game, compared to survival games where a bow um, is mainly used for knocking people off because you have to hit people a lot of times with it because you can always get those extra hearts. However, in survival games, you don't have those extra hearts. So you always want to make sure to, if you have a bow, to use it because, for example, this player has really good stuff, but if I can get go in there and get a few hits with my bow, like this, those do, he's already at half health. Bows do so much damage in this, and if you get good at them, um, you can really use them to your advantage and even kill players with them. So this player here had definitely um, had full health when I came up to him, got a few shots with the bow, and now I was able to come in here and hopefully... Hopefully, I think he's going to go for that cow there, but if I can get a few bow shots while he's doing that, or as as you could see, I'm really not good at this game, but I did get the diamond sword. Ooh, that was a huge mistake there. He's just running past all this stuff, letting me get it all. <laughs> But yeah, this actually leads me on to my next tip right over here, which is, as we just saw, getting the cows and the supply crates. You always want to go for them because they have the best stuff in the game. It is a huge risk to do so, but um, you definitely want to go for them because if you are able to get them, it puts you in such a great position where you will be so much stronger than the other players. Oh, here's the other guy over here that we were just going to kill. I ended up getting the diamond sword, had the extra hearts, and I was able to kill him there. So there's two tips in one right there. So those are uh, just combined tips right there. The seventh tip has to deal with taking stuff that you don't need. I already have diamond boots, and I did end up killing someone with diamond boots and an iron sword. But I always make sure to take it, even if I already have it. And the reason for this is because if you already have something and you leave it, it means another player can also have the same stuff as you. But if you always take stuff that's iron or take stuff that you know for a fact other players would be desirable that you already have... For example, this person right here I just killed has two iron swords, and I definitely want to take them because if I have it, it means other players don't. And you always want to make sure you try and get an advantage over the players you're playing against. Um, I know for a fact that since I'm holding two diamond boots, it means that another player out there will not have this pair of diamond boots, and I may not, and they may not have as good armor as me whenever I go to face them. It really is important. Obviously, if your inventory is full, you don't want, um, you can always get rid of the stuff that you don't need. But if you have space in your inventory, you always want to try and take the stuff that other players would want, because even if you already have it, it will ensure that other players that you go up against will not have it as well and the final tip of the day has to do with letting others do the dirty work this is something that is really important in deathmatch as well when you're playing solos or you're playing up against a team you always want to make sure that you can't don't get double team because people will always wait around for others to do all the work and then go in there and win so you need to do that as well. You always want to make sure you're in a position where the other players are fighting and you can, you'll, you're can you making sure you have hearts so when you go in there, you'll be able to go and clean up. Um, it is a bit of a, you know, it is a bit of a frustrating strategy when someone does it against you, but it is what you have to do to try and win. So when I go into this deathmatch here, I want to make sure that the players around me are all fighting each other and I'm not losing any health. So when I when they all fight each other and whatever happens, I will be able to go in there. Like this player is on the attack here. It seems like they are going after me. Oh, that person there is shooting a bow at me there. They got a few good hits right there. But um, I do believe in my bow skills. So oh shoot, he's coming up to me. He's coming after. You're coming after. Up oh, now. See this person here. This person's gonna come in there and clean up. Or they're going to not nah, see. Yeah, I. Ooh. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my, that was nerve wracking. I thought I was dead there. But yeah, as you can see, the other player went around attacking people. When they came after me, I was actually in a bad spot. My opponent that I just killed to win, uh, second place right over here, was actually in such a good position because I got attacked and he could have just waited for him to kill me and then I could have he could have cleaned up. But uh, I ended up killing the other person and somehow killing both of them. Uh, I don't really know how, but that's what happened. And yeah, that will be all for today's tip video. 
Hopefully it did help you out. And if you did enjoy, please smash like because uh, it totally helps out a ton. And subscribe. Uh, working to get to 1.5k, getting really close. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day, guys. And goodbye.